my name is Meg and I love sandwiches. I'm about to make one. Would you like to watch me? Great, come along. Um, well, this is our sourdough uh, bread. We bake uh, two of these loaves a couple of times a week. This is the grain that we use. Uh, it's spelt, Biodynamics spelt from Barham Biodynamics. And thank you to Tanya and Steve, uh, the farmers up there who grow it. We get it via our food co-op, Hepburn Whole Foods Collective. And for our sourdough starter, we use uh, Burham's rye grain. Um, and we use that for the starter uh, because it's more microbially diverse. Uh, and this is our sourdough starter. And this starter is about six or seven years old. And we started it uh, with some flour and water and a mouldy fig from one of our fig trees. And this is the salt that we use. It's salt from the Pink Lake, uh, brought to us by our neighbor, Bob in a big bucket, so thanks, Bob. And thanks, Woody's pinch pot. Yep, and thanks, Sarah Clayla, for teaching how to do it. And this is our loaf. We do very high hydration uh, loaf, which is very, very sloppy, so you could never do free form, not even in a basket. It's like slops. So in it goes. We bake it in our wood oven over there uh, for about an hour, and then uh, we eat it for the next couple of days until we start the process all again. So I was left in charge of the baking and I burnt the top. Oops, sorry about that. Um, I noticed, Patrick, that you have been uh, cutting, um, sorry, that you have been eating the crust. I've been cutting mine off. So uh, on my sandwiches, I like to put lots of different kinds of foods. I like to eat my medicine. So I'm not really interested in uh, taking medicine for when I'm sick. So I really wanna do preventative medicine. So we do lots of things all throughout the day to, and all throughout the week um, to keep ourselves healthy. And one of the important things we do is that we try to eat really, really good food all the time. And a big part of what we eat is fermented foods. So sourdough, so on my sourdough, I'm going to be putting, this is our homemade veggie spread. And this is homemade miso paste, tahini, olive oil, lemon juice, and garlic. So the miso is about a six month ferment. You can do different variations on that, but I like to do the six month to a year ferment. And it's quite light in color, this one. Uh, it's got some tahini, um, some organic tahini uh, unhulled, and some lemon juice from our lemons and uh, garlic from our soils um, and olive oil comes from uh, Peter and Marlies in Bort and that's from Salute Olive Oil. So hello to those guys up there and thank you to your trees and thank you to all of the microbes that helped uh, ferment our food. And wild, this is all wild fermented, the food that we eat and wild fermented means we're not adding any yeast in, we're not adding anything from a packet, it's all in our environment. And this is our fermenting table that Patrick's taking you on a bit of a look, a look at, a tour of. And <laughs> and these microbes are ancient, ancient microbes. So while yeah, so we have co-evolved with these microbes and we create the environment so they can thrive and they help us thrive in turn. So it's a beautiful, beautiful relationship. Um, the next fermented thing I'm going to put on is some sauerkraut made with uh, salt from the Pink Lake, thanks Bob, and cabbages that Patrick grew. Thanks Patrick. And thank you to the earthworms. Thank you to everybody who's ever come over to our house and done a poo because we compost all of our our human ewer, so that goes into feeding us as well. We're closing the poop loop. So we've got sauerkraut, I think I'll put a little bit more. Mm. And next I'm gonna put some, uh, this is chickweed. This is a weed that is um, autonomously a volunteer plant. So it comes to our garden around this time of year. And you can see it's got the little white flowers, not to be uh, mistaken for Scarlet Pimpinella that's got little red flowers. And also another telltale sign of the uh, chickweed is that it's got like a little mohawk that runs all the way down, down its stem. 
one single line. Great. So I'm just going to break a bit of that on. And chickweed is full of vitamin C, which is a gift that it comes out uh, every year around winter time when we really need that vitamin C. And one other vitamin C packed ingredient that I'm going to put on are these purple carrots, which I've just grated here. I love these purple carrots. I love them for the colour. And you just know that it's going to be anything that this, this purpley reddy colour is going to be very high in antioxidants. So we also need those to shoo away those free radicals that are going to try and bring us down. So who farmed the carrot? The carrots come from, I think they come from uh, the Bremner family, the Wombat Forest Organics, uh, also via our food co-op. So we're very lucky that we don't have to shop at a supermarket because we have such a great food co-op. So I'm going to put those across and eat the little bits a bit later. But I'm going to cut this in half. And here's the sandwich. And before I take a bite, and you can see from my expression how delicious it's going to be, and I know because I've been eating the same kind of sandwich for the last week or so, um, I'm going to sing you a little song that I know about sandwiches. Uh, it's written by Fred Penner. Um, and it comes from an album called The Cat Came Back, which we listened to as when we were kids, and now uh, Woody listens to it, our eight-year-old. Um, and it goes a little something like this. Would you want to sing it with me? Sandwiches are beautiful, sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches, I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper and I eat them for my lunch. If I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. Oh. Blessings on this meal. Mmm. 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 Mmm.